So we have uh, some breaking news coming out with Richard Hitchens. He will not be facing Jack Catterall like I told you guys months ago. And I said uh, probably yesterday or whatever it was. But we have some news. I was going to save this video for tomorrow. But with him uh, fighting this guy named Gustavo Lemos. Uh, his name is Gustavo Daniel Lemos. L-E-M-O-S. Um, I seen him fight uh, once before. I think once or twice before. This guy's a hard puncher. He punches very hard. Um, it's kind of hard to kind of compare who he kind of fights like right now, but he punches very hard. He's very legit. Um, this is going to be a huge challenge for Richard Hitches. Um, the guy is almost like on a Matias level. So, um, if the fight doesn't happen and Matias ends up fighting the guy, I'm going to tell you guys right now, that's going to end up being a classic fight. Um, he doesn't, he's just a power puncher like Matias is. He's a very hard puncher. He's on like a, a nine, I think he's stopped like nine guys in a row or something like that. I know recently he fought uh, Lee Selby. Man, he got, he has a, uh. He has some power behind him. That's going to be kind of hard for uh, Hitchens to kind of sleep on. He can't really sleep on uh, that guy and what he's going to do. I feel like uh, he's at the top level right now. I know Zepeda just had a uh, fight uh, announced. And, you know, he's coming off of the Zepeda win. So that's definitely going to be something big for him. But uh, this is a huge challenge for him. This guy, Lamos, man, he's legit. <laughs> I'm talking about <clears throat> you can go... Uh, Look at his highlights, but he's he's at that level. Like he's he's definitely a a B minus at the lowest. He's a B he's a B fighter. Could be a A fighter, a uh, grade A fighter, but right now uh that's definitely gonna be a, a tough fight. They got about ten weeks away. They say the fight should be uh in the found blue the. Uh, Vegas, April 6th, I think. But uh, that's a tough fight. <laughs> Even though it's not Catterall, I think that's a tougher matchup for um, Hitches. I don't know if he's going to go that way. He said recently he will probably like to go to WBA route or somewhere else <laughs> just because of the uh, the weigh-in fact. Even though a lot of people was like, well, you know, the other guy has to do the same thing. Yeah, it's different when you have different kind of body types, though. And I'm not making excuses. Y'all know I don't make no excuses on this uh on this platform. But if I if I didn't do it before, I wouldn't say anything. But I've had to do it before, so it's kind of difficult when you have to um basically eat like a three what two or three pound meal for 24 hours until you weigh in again. That's just de very difficult for any human being. So um it's probably not something I don't know. Maybe he does go that route. Right now, they're announcing that as a uh, final eliminator. Uh, I know Catterall is not a... Uh, I guess he's been dropped from the uh, rankings or whatever. They said they weren't playing as far as... If anybody wasn't going to go through with it when it goes to person, they was going to drop him from the rankings. So, you know, that's how that goes in the IBF. So, it's definitely going to be a... Uh, yeah, the guy can punch, though, man. He's a very powerful puncher. He's not much of a finesse guy. I think coming up, he had to kind of get his, like, uh, strength as far as his adult strength. But I think he now is kind of tapped into what I've seen recently um, from him. He's very dangerous. Um, he's someone at 140. Like I told you guys, at 140, it's like 40, 50 guys at 140, man. 140 is not a joke. 135 either. It's not a joke. This guy can be like a uh, Frank Martin type of 135. You know what I'm saying? Eastside Cruz at 140. I mean, a 140 type of uh, Frank Martin, but Eastside Cruz at 140, so I can't say him, but he can be that type of guy. He can be a threat where he can come in and kind of shake up a couple of things. I feel like it's going to be a difficult fight uh, for anybody, but uh, he just has the skills to do it. He's just going to uh, have to come in and kind of be on point, have his mind focused. But I definitely think he can pull it off. But uh, 
you know, sometimes, you know, you fight to the level of your competition. And I feel like uh, in that situation, he would be able to uh, pull something off. But sometimes, man, some guys, they're different. They got to go through certain hard fights and difficult situations in order to uh, kind of separate themselves from the rest of the group. And I feel like Hitchens can do something like that, but he'll he'll have to um he have to kind of dig in deep with an uh, opponent like this. This is a hard fight. These next three or four months, we're gonna be going over some fights, but it's gonna be a lot of guys. They are gonna have some tests on their hands. Like seriously, it's not gonna be easy for anybody. So especially at one forty. But that's all I got though. Like and subscribe.